So, um, another a really nice day. Hasn't rained in ages now. Um, back in the woods at my camp, the little um, newer section I've built just sort of for more the um, the area that we'll sit when when it doesn't rain. So um, basically today I wanted to chat about um, some new axes. Uh, I put a post I put a post on that recently. Um, bison axes from Germany. Just a little bit quick background on them. Um, bison axes there. Small little business in Germany. It's been running since well since 1879. Um, they're the, the second oldest forge in Germany. So they run uh, they run a sort of industrial line, uh, which you know sort of caters to the forestry and stuff like that uh, and then they've got a, an outdoor and um, bushcraft line and, and that's all hand forged so um i'm here to i'm not here to like um do a review on them or anything it's more of a uh, an introduction because obviously um the axe is a, a very popular tool um or if not the most popular tool amongst uh, bushcrafters in the northern hemisphere with, with a with a good knife, so um, I brought two with two along with me here today. Um, the hunting hatchet, hatchet, which is this one here. This is how they come straight out of the box. Um, hickory handle. It's got a nice little touch there. They just give you like a little. I know. I suppose it's like a key ring. At the end of the day, you'll have, you take it off, and then you've, you're left with like a nice. Level lace lanyard. Um, you can kind of see on the handle there, bison made in Germany. Um, quite a nice leather sheath. Opens up, let's open it up. So, I'll just show you guys the sheath there, the sort of detail that you're looking at. Quite nicely stitched, and then your studs at the top. Uh, the hunting hatchet, it's about 38 centimetres, like it's, it's quite short, it's sort of in between a, a, a forestry axe to uh, a trekking hatchet. Um, the head, it's a bit wider there so you can, you can kind of get your hand nicely in there for grip. Comes factory sharp, obviously you can, uh, you can get that a lot sharper. If you feel like you want to. Top end as per, wedged in nicely there. And at the back is nicely finished. Quite nice detail on the forged head. Yeah. So that's the um, the hunting hatchet, which I would probably use um, a little bit for for carving as well, because like I say, the for me the head is quite nice to get in behind, so I can get nice and close. And uh, it's got a good weight behind it as well. So again, very simple. That's the uh, bison um, hunting hatchet. Done there. And this one is a new one. This is something uh, that I haven't really come across uh, in other brands. Not well, me personally. It's a it's a it's a a, a spalt or spalt axe. They call it in general. It's basically a splitting axe. Um, it's um, it's shorter than um, my sort of. I've got a, obviously I've got a ton of axes at home, and I didn't want to bring a load to to compare. But like I say, I think with these with the with a lot of the brands that are out there, um, it's a lot of it will be personal preference as well. Um, but again, same sort of handle. Same uh, lanyard at the back and same sheath. Um, obviously, this has like a protective collar with it. Just open the sheath up there a bit, and it has got some weight behind it. Um, you pro the, the, the good thing about this is you could pack it into your pack if you want to. Similar to a file, it's actually a bit shorter, like I said, but it's got weight and it's made for splitting. And there's the. Uh, the top of the uh, the head there again comes nicely um, 
sort of factory shop. Uh, that's the back of the um, head there. Again, a hickory handle and all the nice finishing touches. Really nicely finished as well. Um, I won't be like using them in this video. Hopefully, I'll get a few little silent images um, after we a bit of sort of work, work, getting them working. Um, but what I did want to say is, I, I think uh, I did. I've got a lot of axes. Um, like I said before, I've you know names like I mentioned. You got Grand's Fours, Wetterlins, Altine, Holter Fours. Um, Helga from Germany. Um, why um, Bison hasn't been picked up um, before now? Um, it baffles me because it's uh, it's an amazing, amazing little firm uh, in Germany. Obviously, I'm probably a bit biased because of of my heritage from the Black Forest and that. But um, I think German. German tools and craftsmanship speaks for itself. I think a lot of it tends to be, it's, it, it goes a little bit under the radar because of a lot of the uh, Scandinavian element um, of this side of the industry. And um, they're heavily deep set in, in, in sort of the bushcraft world, whereas the Germans sort of very, maybe very industrially based, but they're coming out now. Um, these are the first, first ones here. I do think they ha the, there's been the odd couple sold you know, down in the years uh, in the UK, maybe in Ireland, but um, as far as I know, they are they they've just become available now in the UK and Ireland. So, um, if anyone is interested in these, um, they they're still not hitting stockists yet. They are they are with a distributor. So, if anyone's interested, please just hit me up in the comments or personal messages or something like that and uh, I can chat to you a little bit further and point you in the right direction. Um, but don't walk past these, these are a cracking axe. Um, and I would say in Germany, they are considered the, the, the sort of on par with Grand's Fours. Um, and they are, they are cheaper, but um, I think they will be going up uh, in price a little bit once they, they hit stockists here in the UK and Ireland. So, um, I hope you check in to see the other little working videos of the axes in action and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.